One of the great human rights paradoxes is the LGBTQ support for Palestinians in the conflict with Israel. I went to the Castro district in San Francisco to ask gay men and women about their views on the conflict. What's your view on the uh, Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Is there one side that you kind of side with more than the other? I used to side with the Israelis. Okay. But then I'm starting to, to rethink that. Do you tend to side more with one side versus the other? Palestine. We are here to support the Palestinians and give them a right to freedom and the right to self-sovereignty. Um, and also for Israel to sort of maintain its ground and stay in its own lane without infringing on the journeys of others. I mean, you know, my ex-wife and I talked about it a lot, and that's quite frankly how I learned more about it, but it was really about, like, Israel for being such bullies and, yeah. I tend to have more sympathy toward uh, those I perceive as persecuted. Like the victims? Yes. Um, and that would be the Palestinians? I believe so, yeah. I'm really more so just for human rights, mainly, so, like, I want just people to have good rights and I want people to be safe. I feel uncomfortable being a gay person in Israel. Just when I was visiting, was, I was worried. Like, About what? Being attacked or something. Do you think most people, most gay people, tend to side more, especially younger people, tend to side more with the Palestinians versus the Israelis in general on the conflict? Um, I would say yes. In general, the gay community seems to be more supportive of Palestine because of, hum of the human rights situation. 100%. Each three months you're gonna hear a story about a queer person that was killed. Honor killing in Palestine is happening all the time. One of the ugliest open secrets of the human rights world is the situation of the gay community in Gaza. Untold men and women have been tortured and killed at the hands of Hamas. Less well known is the horrifying treatment by the relatively more moderate Palestinian Authority and those who live in that area. This sexual cleansing by the Palestinians is not well covered, if at all, by the mainstream media or even the LGBTQ media. I'm Ami Horowitz. In the Palestinian territories, there's not much of a debate on gay marriage. Here the discussion is more about the killing and the torturing of members of the LGBT community. There have been a staggering amount of incidents of the police capturing and torturing gay men and women and honor killings by their family members. Sheikh Mahmoud is a popular imam in Ramallah, the largest and most cosmopolitan city in the Palestinian-controlled West Bank. Does any, any of the people uh, who come to your mosque privately ask you, if, listen, I have a gay child, and ask for your advice? يعني مرة يعني من ناس نقول من نذكر مثل يعني قصة مثلاً صارت مرة واحد هو نفسه أحكى يعني فهمت علي ونصحته له نصحت له. What should be done to gay people? الحكم للي بده يمشي في هاي الطريق ويمشي في هاي الطريق يطبق حكم الإسلام عليه للفاعل والمفعول به. In your opinion, what is worse, a child who is gay or a child who is a drug addict? What is worse, a child who's gay or a child who's a thief? What about, what about a murderer? So this is normally where I do the man the street portion of the video. I've done man the street videos all across the world on explosive topics. This is the first time I've had a local producer expressly forbid me from doing this segment because he thinks that asking people about homosexuality will absolutely explode into violence. But I did it anyway. It's important to note here that the comments you are about to hear are representative of the feelings of the vast majority of people that we came across that day. <laughs> Just leave. 
They want the Tushis to leave. Yeah, just to leave. Do you think that it's better that we take the gay people and we put them in jail? Is that a better idea? Ah, yeah. Yes? Yes. Yes. If there's a problem, if there's a problem, the prison is a good thing. Yes, the prison is a good thing. It's supposed to be a prison better than to be outside and because of the danger of the society. They do any other thing, but they don't do anything. تحروا أو يسوا مركز العلاج. هدول يعني اللي بلاقوهم سلبيين على المجتمع. Should we put them, the gay people, in a in a concentration camp? مركز أحسن. هذا الأصل كنت أنا بدي أحكي لك. أفضل لنا وإلا. Couldn't you understand why a parent would want to kill their child who is gay? تعدى عشرة غيره. يعني هذا إشي مش منيح للعالم. يعني بيعتبر إنه إشي كتير. يعني عمل إشي كتير سيء. Do you support the honor killings with gays? Can you understand why a father would want to kill his gay son? Because it's not uh, honor for him. Would it be better if we killed all the gays? أحسن إشي، of course. قتل لا، أما ضرب يمكن يضربه. إيش عشانهم بسمحوا الوطيين هذا بزيد الإشي. What's worse, if you found out your son was gay or your son was a murderer? إيش أسيا يعني؟ أسيا اللوطي. اللوطي. Do you like do you like my shirt? Yeah, it's not too gay, right? Good, good, good. Okay. In Israel, only several miles away, gay pride parades are staples of Israeli society. The Palestinians use that as a weapon against Israel. Is, is the gay community in Palestine a Jewish plot to undermine Palestinian society? In Israel, they have parades for the gays, right? Does that show a weakness among the, uh, the Jews and the Israelis? Are the Jews responsible for bringing the gayness into the Palestinians. It was very difficult to find a gay Palestinian willing to speak with us because of the justified fear of what could happen to them and their family, even if we protected their identity. Mahmoud, that's not his real name, was willing to speak with us despite the risks. My mom's family suspected that uh, I'm gay. So like just one night, my uncle was like threatening to um, come and beat me up. My uncle started sending me voice messages on WhatsApp and he was screaming in all of them. So he started threatening me. He, he threatened uh, to rape me. He also threatened to throw me off a bridge. And he said that no one will uh, know that I existed. I was really scared, I was really shocked, I was terrified. Like I did, like I went to my mom, I told her, uh, look at this, and she listened to all the voice messages and she was laughing and she refused to do anything. A lot of stories happen to queer people in Palestine. A lot of uh, stuff happened to them. It's sad and it's heartbreaking, to be honest. Like this person was killed because they were gay. I know a lot of stories that happened to gay people in Palestine. I have a lot of stories that happened to my friends. There, there's a lot of people like each, it's so sad, each three months you're gonna hear a story about a, a queer person that was killed because they were gay. Honor killing in Palestine is happening all the time. And there's a lot of torture from like the people themselves, you know, the, like the community over there. I know a lot of stories about gay people being raped by other people. A person from uh, the Palestinian people did something to a queer person and abused them. A queer person can't go to the police because they will be abused again. My friend was raped by a cop, a Palestinian cop, in the police station in Palestine. And I just remember my friend, like he went out to the police station, like he didn't, like it was really bad. He couldn't even walk properly. If he told anyone, who is he gonna tell, you know? It was a, like a cop. Like, he's not gonna be protected if he says anything. They don't just put them in jail for like, uh, like a couple of days or anything. Before they do that, they, like, you know, they, they have fun. They start, you know, abusing them, uh, mentally abusing them, physically. And then, like, after they're like, like they're done and bored, 
If they're not interested in sleeping with the guys that they arrested, they just put them to jail. Well, the police and the Palestinian Authority are like, they're, they're one of the same, they are the same. The Palestinian Authority is the same as the Palestinian cops. Both of them, they do the same thing. We then showed the video to the people you had just heard from at the beginning of the film to get their reactions to what you and they just saw. That's, um, wow. How about they need to be put in psychiatric hospitals? If you attack a gay person, you have the mental health problem. They don't value human rights or human life. Through watching that, does it change your view on the conflict? 100%. No, it does. Well, uh, anything that I learn that is new, that I absorb, is information that helps me change my perspective. Does it change your perspective on the situation? Yeah, it does. It does. Perspective a little bit it on did. the situation? Yeah. I mean, like, I, 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 honestly, I didn't know that that was even going on, to be honest. So it, it made me aware of it. It makes me wonder if the information that I've learned is entirely accurate. Yeah, like, I guess it, it puts my understanding of the situation in a different light. I had no idea that there was such a, a strong gay or LGBTQ contingency yeah. in Israel, or that, that it was so celebrated and so protected as a celebration. Yeah. I mean, it's horrifying the way Palestinians look at it. homosexuality. If I can only believe one side, I'll believe the side who throws parade as opposed to throwing them off of roofs. Absolutely. absolutely. I feel, yeah, absolutely. That's, I mean, and I think that's supported. a really valid way to put it. So from that perspective, we've changed a little bit. I, I think so. We check off this list and this and this and this in every box because this is the left wing, this is the liberal, 100%. This is it. This is our conversation piece. This is how we move forward. And we all have to be aligned with this and this and this. But there's this whitewashing. There's this sort of like watering down of the reality of the situation. Um, so this is a beautiful piece. It adds context to the situation for me. Palestine. I had no idea. For such a, you know, it, it is um, promoted as being such a forward-thinking and progressive young sect or nation in becoming, um, you, the last thing that I would think that they would want to do is ostracize or marginalize anyone further who might help their cause right, right, right. seeking independence. It, it makes me want to do more research. I'm happy that you stopped us uh, to talk to us because I, I felt it.